Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to ask the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 24th to October 30th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Capricorn, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. If this reading resonates, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it too. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. And also my readings are for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I am going through a, a cold slash flu. So if I sound weird or different, that's the reason why I am currently sick. But let's see. Let's get started here. <clears throat> All right, let's look at your energy first. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Capricorn in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, first card we have for you is the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Moon. At the bottom, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. With the Judgment card and the Three of Swords. Okay. Mm, this, this energy is sad. Here you are showing up in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse, Nine of Pentacles upright, Six of Swords. <clears throat> so it looks like you're very disappointed, Capricorn, with the Five of Pentacles and the Moon. You're disappointed. Some sort of um, some sort of collaboration with the Three of Pentacles did not work out. Something wasn't cohesive between you and another person. It wasn't cohesive. You weren't on the same page with each other. You weren't communicating well with each other. <clears throat> There was a lot of important differences between you two that apparently created a separation or an ending between you two. And you're feeling pretty sad about it with the Queen of Pentacles. It does look like you had high expectations. And you're coming up in the upright, Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. So it, this does show me that you really wanted something to work. Like you were very interested, like you were you were all in it. You were you were very willing to to do your part to get to get the results that you wanted. <clears throat> But it looks like you ended up with disappointment here. A missed opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And with the Nine of Pentacles, some of you find yourself single and alone. And that wasn't what you wanted. You, were, you wanted a relationship with the Four of Wands.
But with the judgment card, it does seem like it's like irreconcilable differences type of energy. <clears throat> I do have a cough drop in my mouth, so if you can hear that, that's what it is. I'm trying to control the coughing. With the judgment and the three of pentacles, it does look like this is a final decision. It's like, you know what? There's no way that me and you can work together. It's like... At this point, it seems like it's an impossible feat. It's an impossible objective. No matter what we do or no matter, you know, the adjustments that I make, the sacrifices that I make, the compromises that I make, it's still not good enough. You know, nothing nothing is ever good enough. It still doesn't doesn't help us become more unified. On the contrary, it looks like we keep we keep um repelling each other. <clears throat> the more we try to work together, the less it works, the less it works out. The more we we separate, you know? So some of you are being, some of you are facing a, a sad reality. Judgment and the Three of Swords. Some of you are, are being forced or are feeling forced to accept a sad reality. that your expectations were too high and that somebody was unable to measure up. Somebody was unable to, you know, um, be your equal. Match, match your efforts, match your intentions, match your desires. Somebody fell short here. Let me see. Tell me about that Three of Pentacles spirit. Five of Cups and the Tower. It's going to be like a reconciliation with the Five of Cups and the Tower. Some of you were trying to have a successful reconciliation with someone, but it didn't work out. I don't know what the challenge is, but I'm, I guess I'm going to find out in your person's energy. Tell me about the moon. <clears throat> Nine of Cups and the King of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like you two were unable to reach an agreement, you know. <clears throat> you two were unable to... Um, reach some kind of common ground between each other. You know, with the Nine of Cups, this is an energy of, I, I want this this way. I want this that way. And, you know, there's a inflexibility in, in that energy. And someone... With the Queen of Swords, this could be like Aquarius energy. Somebody was unable to like see things from, from a different perspective that wasn't their own perspective. You know? I don't know if that was you or your person, Capricorn. <clears throat> But, you know, I, I just feel like, in general, both of you were unable to see each other's perspective. Your values were different. Your, your values and their values. <clears throat> yeah, it does look like you tried with the Page of Pentacles. 
I definitely feel like you try to to please this person to make them happy or you try to be friends with them, extend out your friendship. But someone was being very rebellious here with the Five of Swords, carrying a grudge. All right, let's see your person now, see what's going on. All right, spirit, angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. All right, first card in regards to your person, Capricorn, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Wands, wow, Queen of Swords, okay, Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords, wow, yeah, Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the full high priestess. All right. So you two might have had like a big fight or a big argument with each other. <clears throat> Magician, two of pentacles, ace of cups. Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups. Hmm. I am getting um, for some of you Capricorns that this person was still hooked on, on a previous relationship, on an ex. I am getting that. I do feel like a third party situation was an issue here for some of you <clears throat> in the sense that this person was still thinking about whoever they dealt with previously to you and they weren't you know properly healed enough to have a new beginning with you Capricorn because for some reason I feel like this two of cups is not you Capricorn you know Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. For some reason, I don't feel like this is related to you. Not really. It's connected to the Three of Cups in reverse, so I think that's related to someone else. Someone this person was dealing with at the same time that they were dealing with you or some sort of ex previous ex, they were still carrying a broken heart and they weren't being honest. <clears throat> Sorry, with the queen. <clears throat> they weren't being honest with the queen of swords in reverse, you know, they were kind of being deceptive here, um, hiding information from you, hiding, keeping secrets. Yeah, look at the Six of Pentacles and the Fool. This is someone who really wasn't, they really weren't in it with you. Could be an Aries with the Fool card. 
This person really wasn't giving their full attention to you, um, putting their full effort into creating a stable relationship with you. It's like somebody who was showing up, but they weren't really there. Like their physical body was there, but their mind was elsewhere. <clears throat> Just to give you an example, it doesn't have to be for everyone, but you know, it's that type of energy of someone who is, their body is with you, but their mind is not with you. Their mind is still thinking about this, this heartbreak or separation that they went through in the past with the Two of Cups. And I feel like this person had the opportunity to have a new beginning with you, Cap, um, Capricorn. But they weren't, they weren't giving to it. They weren't embracing the new be this new opportunity f to have a new beginning with you in love. For some of you, this person was breadcrumbing you with the Page of Pentacles. They were giving you the bare minimum. They might have been giving you excuses also, is what I'm getting. With the Queen of Swords in reverse, this can represent someone who was giving you a lot of excuses in regards to why they couldn't see you or talk to you or go out with you or have a, have a relationship with you. <clears throat> you know, just lots of excuses. Let me clarify. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person had recently walked away from something, from another relationship. They had recently experienced a breakup. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at what did this person um, want with you? You know, what was their, um, their purpose here in regards to you? What were they looking for? Please show me this spirit, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting a rebound for some of you. For some of you, this person was, you were this person's rebound. All right, spirit. What, was, what, what did this person want? What, did they, what were they looking for? Page of Swords. Six of Swords in reverse. Page of Cups. Page of Wands. You know, I think this person um, maybe got ahead of themselves. I think they were they were trying to see if you would be that person that would help them move on, help them move on from something with the Eight of Cups, you know? It's almost like they were looking for that distraction. They were looking for that person that would, that would make them feel better about themselves. <clears throat> that would, you know, bring, bring new excitement to their life after having gone through a difficult separation. They thought they were ready to move on, but I feel like this person realized that they weren't as ready as they thought they were. you know, to have a new relationship or a new beginning with someone.
So, yes, I feel like um, <clears throat> you were this person's rebound. I don't know if it was intentional or not intentional. Not necessarily with the Page of Swords. Not necessarily. But at the same time, you know, the Page of Swords knows what they're knows what they're doing. It's an intellectual energy, <clears throat> but it's also an immature energy. So I'm getting a lot of immaturity from this person. Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Page of Wands. Lots of pages here. This person was very immature in the way they approached you. In their intentions with you. And it looks to me like they were just trying to find find a replacement, you know. To to be completely honest. But this is just the energy for the week. I don't know if things will change with this person or not, but for now, that's what I see. All right, Capricorn, I hope this helped you in some way. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care. <clears throat>